Why does water come out of this tree? This tree holds so much water that it could hydrate an entire village. It is massive in size, and in some large, old baobab trees, the middle is hollow because multiple stems grow together from the roots, merging into a single, thick trunk. During the rainy season, the baobab's roots absorb and store water in its trunk. This helps it survive long periods of drought when little to no water is available. Depending on its size and health, a baobab tree can hold anywhere between 10,000 and 12,000 liters of water within its trunk. There is a common belief that baobabs provide drinkable water, but that isn't entirely true. If a baobab tree is cut down, it feels extremely heavy because of the massive amount of stored water. However, when the tree dries, it becomes lightweight again. In fact, these trees can store about 650 liters of water per cubic meter of wood, but this water is not directly drinkable like that from a fresh spring or well. Baobabs are highly efficient in water management. They use their stored water carefully, consuming only what is necessary to stay strong and grow new leaves. If they start running low on water, their trunks may shrink slightly to conserve resources. Interestingly, baobabs can also store water between the gaps in their branches and sometimes even on the outer surface of their bark. Baobabs are some of the largest and longest living trees in the world. Their thick trunks and wide canopies make them easy to recognize. When they are young, their trunks are thin, but as they age, they become bottle shaped or cylindrical, capable of holding vast amounts of water. The trunk is made up of layers of fibrous wood, though these layers don't necessarily indicate the tree's exact age. These trees also have two kinds of shoots, some are long and green, while others are thick and woody, responsible for producing seeds. Their branches can either spread outward or grow vertically, depending on the species. There are several types of baobab trees. The smallest species, grows up to 10 meters and usually has multiple trunks. While, the largest species, can have a single or multiple trunks, sometimes reaching an astonishing 10 meters in width. Another fascinating tree that releases liquid is the birch tree. By just tapping a small hole in its trunk, sap will start flowing out. The sap that flows from birch trees is called birch sap, a natural and slightly sweet liquid. Harvesting it is a simple process, all you need to do is drill a hole into the trunk and place a container underneath to collect the sap. Within five hours, you can gather about half a bucket of birch sap. However, this process doesn't last forever. Eventually, the tree stops producing sap and seals itself to prevent excessive fluid loss. Unlike rubber trees, which produce sap year-round, birch trees can only be tapped in early spring just before their new leaves start growing. Birch sap comes from Batula trees, it has been harvested for centuries in northern Europe and China, where people believe it offers numerous health benefits. Birch trees should be at least 30 years old before they are tapped to ensure they are strong enough to recover from the process. To collect the sap, a small pipe is inserted into a drilled hole, allowing the liquid to flow out naturally. Each tree can produce several liters of sap, making it a valuable resource. After the collection is finished, the hole in the tree is sealed with wood to protect it from infections and pests. Birch sap is best consumed fresh, as it starts to ferment within a few days, even if stored in a refrigerator. For hundreds of years, birch sap has been considered a healthy and medicinal drink. During the 19th and 20th centuries, it was commonly used as a natural skin care product, particularly as a face wash to cleanse and refresh the skin. In modern times, there has been a renewed interest in birch sap.